We've all heard of the net, but obviously most of our viewers have never been on it. So we sent our reporter out, Kat Lewis, to have a go from a beginner's standpoint. Ava Pascoe is with us also, she who invented Siberia. In fact, Ava worked great on television. A CD-ROM will hardly do her justice, but here's just a taste of Ava herself. So you want to get onto the internet. Well, there are five things you need. But we've got a sixth. Our internet genie, Dan O'Brien. Well, so what if I'm stuck in a computer? I can serve the internet all day with this. It's wild. The first two things you need are a computer and a modem. In both cases, the faster the better. To be cost effective, buy a 486 machine with a 14.4 BPS modem. Just remember the number 14.4 when you go to buy a modem and don't buy anything slower. You should be able to buy a system like this for under £1,000. But if you want ultimate speed, go for a Pentium-based computer and a V34 28.8 modem. But you'll pay about £1,500 for this option. Got my computer and modem. The third thing I need is a telephone line to plug my modem into. Nearly there, Dan. Now you've got to choose a service provider. Have a look through a few magazines or get an internet guide from a local bookshop. Yes, like one of these. Now, which service provider do I choose? Major service providers for the North West are Unit, who are based in Warrington. Demon and Delphi are both London-based companies with Manchester access points. You can also, as of this week, get full internet access through CompuServe. Your service provider has a supercomputer that you dial into and they do all the rest. But make sure there's an access point close to your home, otherwise you'll always be paying for long-distance calls. What else do I need, Dan? Well, you'll need some software from your uh, service provider. Take the disk, read the instructions, stick it in, and away you go. OK, the software's in. Now I'm calling up my service provider. If I'm lucky, I'll hear a sound like this, which is the modem connecting. But thankfully, it soon goes quiet. You're up and away. Enjoy yourself and surf the net. Surf the net. Surf the net. Surf the net. I met David through email and we communicated for about five months through the keyboard only. Then we met and now we're getting married. The internet certainly changed the way we study at college these days. We can't always find the information we need and the only way to access it is through the internet. So it's not just hype. People are genuinely excited about the net. It's the phenomenon of the 90s. Spanning all continents, the internet is a worldwide electronic communication system, a way in which over 20 million people communicate through their computers. And you can join them by connecting your computer to your phone line. Invented by the US military in the 60s to maintain contact in the event of nuclear war, it was quickly discovered by students and academics as a great way to communicate. The net is anarchic. It has no heart. Destroy one link, and it will find another way to forward your message. That's what makes it unique and particularly good as a worldwide information exchange. No one country can stop its flow. And once you've got onto the net and you've worked your way around it, the things it can do are incredible. Want to watch TV? Most TV companies are on the net. Need a news service? There are over a hundred of them to choose from. You can send email to other net users straight from your computer into theirs. You can check out the latest fashion designs and get inside information on your favourite films. Even download video clips of them. Whatever you're doing, whether it's choosing a sweatshirt or joining in a global discussion with a group of goldfish lovers, the beauty is that it won't be costing you the earth. We've spent the last two weeks helping you to get onto the internet, but there is another way to enjoy the advantages of being online. It's almost certainly easier to set up and gives you a range of services that you can use immediately. So what is it? Subscribe to a BBS. BBSs or bulletin boards are centrally managed and therefore simple to navigate. If the internet is the electronic equivalent of the deep sea, then the BBSs are canals. The biggest of them, CompuServe, began in 1970 and now has over 2.5 million users worldwide, over 100,000 of them in the UK. Other options in the UK include Apple's eWorld and Delphi. Microsoft's network is launched in August and promises dramatically lower charges. The big advantage of these systems is simplicity. Everything's in one place, and at first it's cheaper. They give you the software and some free time to get you going, and hopefully hooked. Through a BBS, you can email, join discussion groups, and use hundreds of information services. 
This is where bulletin boards can become more expensive than the net. As well as paying a monthly charge, you have to pay more to access certain services. But at least access is always guaranteed. At the moment, the internet seems to be experiencing its first traffic jam. So are BBSs worth the extra? Well, if you don't want to get technical with your computer, and if you're new to the whole thing, then the answer is probably yes. They let you get on with the job of communicating with minimum hassle. So if you don't want to dive into the internet straight away, then get a modem and a subscription to a BBS. And in case you've forgotten, here's a reminder of what the internet is all about. If you know much about the net, you'll know about Ava Pascoe. Siberia, the UK's first cyber cafe, was her brainchild. There are now Siberias in Kingston-upon-Thames and Edinburgh, and some franchises opening now in the northwest. And this is the holiday section of our programme where, Ava, you're going to tell us some places to go to on the net. And uh, your raison d'etre for where you go to? Well, I always search the net for fun things to do, because that's like pure entertainment. Pure entertainment. So you can have a look at things like uh, digital striptease. You can have a look at the frog day section, say. Which, Fro virtual frog dissection kit. Which okay. means that you can have a look at how the frog looks without the skin. It is brilliant because uh, that gives you not only the fun of playing with the net, but also indication of what the frog is really like. And what, else can you what else do you do to the frog, Eva? If, you, if you're not a frog fetishist like me, you can go to another fun places, yes. which are like this one, erogenous zones. And this is a place for internet... I'm getting even more worried about you. This ...women is training. Oh, it's training, computer yes. training. I didn't yes. realise that. Despite the appearances of the contrary, this is actually a very practical and useful page. So, it's for example, modem is a hypertext link to information about modem. Yeah, you can click on the modem and that will help on the internet virgins and newbies to find a way... We're meant to think that women and computers don't mix. You're the proof. Is, is it wrong to think that? We love computers. Women are brilliant with computers. But we also have something for men. So oh, a men's page, the finally. The Eric, page. Well, now, the Eric Cantona page is also for ladies, because ladies do like him. This is a very True. big page. There's lots of good stuff on it, isn't it? There's lots of quotes and the stories yeah, of his well, life. Well, if you like to follow his uh, personal life, he's a very entertaining person. So instead of buying a tabloid newspaper, you can go you just to the, the net stuff. and get everything And you're here. downloading a great big picture from him. Yeah. Where, where does this come from, by the way? Can this you tell by the address? This is from Anglia University, where I think Cantona has got big set of uh, followers. There's a guy called Oliver who does a great page there, obviously. Yeah, All right. Thank you, Dr. Oliver. Well done. Well, I'm going to talk about shameless self-promotion, which is advertising on the net. Uh, despite the appearances of the contrary, the net is not actually as subversive, as anarchic as people think. Commercial activity is fine as long as you play the netiquette, which is you mind the do's and don'ts. So the don'ts is don't use junk mail and email people email ab everybody about uh, people. Yes. your latest product. That's a bad move. But the good move is, for example, as an internet provider, you can sponsor a free interactive service. So is someone is sponsoring this, this one is, is a dating agency, which is absolutely gorgeous. And this uh -huh. is extremely popular. Men looking uh, for women, women the looking for them. has a hypertext link. I love Wonderful, that. Yes. Isn't it? So you can uh, have a look for your favorite partner and look at the advertising by the internet provider at the same time. And you can mail them as well. Another one which I quite like is if you are short of words. <laughs> and if you don't know what to say in your mail to them. Serrano, that's like the Roxanne movie where, the, where the Serrano writes the letter that's for right, somebody. Yeah. And the Serrano server is an advertising by uh, a news agency from States and you can compose your own letter. Uh, and you can choose if you want to have it steamy, poetic, intellectual. Well, you cho you've chosen and steamy, Ava. That's a oh, surprise. Oh, That's go. a surprise. Uh, and I composed one for you. Oh. From your high-tech, Ava. I'm blushing uh, now. I'm blushing. Go to the next page immediately. I'm blushing uh, terribly. That's a free advertising service which everybody can use.